Got you. I hit you three times, I win. Oh. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, I can start looking for things. Sharpshooter, 50 gamer points, oh, won the plushie battle. I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. All right, continue looking around. There, there, there has to be a figure back here somewhere, right? I mean, I haven't been back here yet. Makes sense there's a figure back here. You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? <laughs> okay. I just want to continue looking around, Yikes, sir. Yikes, that's unsettling. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Wait a minute, I saw yeah. a figure off to the right. Thing going on now. Hold up. Yeah, yep, I see it. Is that the Nancy Muskrat? Yeah, and it's mine now. Yoink. It's mine. It's in oh, here. See that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Okay. I mean, I can't get it, I can't pick it up. Okay, let's sit down. Talk. What's this? Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. What's your clan? Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? But Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She Wait, are they like fraternal twins or something? Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. 
So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You, you have <coughs> no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. <clears throat> hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Rona. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh... I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if I started something. Ugh. I, th I think I, I don't know if I started something, but hey, whatever. Let's, let's keep going. Here we are. Take you, cemetery. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. <laughs> I'm going to go check in with my tree. uncle. Good luck. Oh yeah. no! Hold up! I accidentally pressed the home button on my TV! Remote. Okay, we're fine. Yep, we're fine. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially now. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? I never wanted to come back here. Makes two of us. Okay. I'm guessing I'm on the way we might find might find Marianne's grave. Hey, graves are back that way. Listen here, Allison. So do Listen, you ever come back? I like the I like the okay. better. Listen. Why do people always feel like I like to explore and listen. I, I don't know. We don't have to rush. Probably things, just right? a mirror. So you can get to bed with you oh, tonight. Right. I want to give you a kiss. See? Monty. Monty do. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Whoa. Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And so Man. See, see them. They came here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> always. She loved us, a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe, yeah. But 
I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing. Wait a minute. Am I making footprints in the snow? That's it. Ten out of ten. That's what this game is. Ten out of ten. Footprints in the snow. That that decided it. the crooked tree but no tessa let's check around for her parents grave just to make sure this is the right spot you think it's possible michael remembered it wrong well i've done inventory with him before so yes <laughs> not this one this is a very interesting cemetery some of frosted this might take a while Look, there's Michael. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarled Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the quiz again. I mean, it wouldn't be happy Daily to be around here, right? That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed oh, her. Oh, yep, okay. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Man. Well, there's a memory somewhere. Okay, then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know where a grave could be, though. Hazel Salazar. Academy was 56. They're still kind of young to lose to these guys. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Okay. When did Michael's what? uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your <laughs> ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, sure. What was your uncle like? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Um, about this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Eh, shoot. Um, oh. 
What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. So, okay, so where's. How are you, um. holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Hanson over there is Holy good company. Crap, that guy was old. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. So, is her mother... So is this Marianne buried past here somewhere? Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Please. I'm not going. No. If Allison, steps in, come back. Are they starting to regret this? <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please Man, she's such a good... These are two characters I actually I legitimately care about. Get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you'd been able to go visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Okay, I'm guessing that's the mother's the mother's grave. That might be Tessa over there. I'm not too sure. So I kinda wanna check up here though. Maybe there's figures. I have one of the graves so we can actually Snowball go grave. Still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Well, rest in peace, Snowball. Yeah. Any that owls that was Wait, where's it at? Over here. Oh, Marion was crying. I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Carol Brown. Yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Any figures around one of these graves so we can grave rob from, from one of them? Huh? Ty. This, this is it. Right. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Marion, oh. 1964 to 2005. She was 41? I was thinking more like 30. Uh, 
Alice. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Angry eyebrows. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh Sam God. Kansky. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were there we go. other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler?
I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Okay, July, March. Oh no, she was 40 about to turn 41 in like a few months. Okay. That was something.